nail friends in this video I wanted to do a prep video how I prep my nails step by step for beginners I also wanted to share my favorite tools to use and I wanted a video to reference back to for the future so if you guys are interested in that just keep watching okay so I just removed the leftovers of my nails this morning soaked in acetone so here is what they look like they're looking okay, they're grown out quite a bit. But this hand has grown. I've got some lifting there of my natural nail. I've got some leftover color. You can see some yellow and purple. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna prep this. To start, I wanna show you guys the um, e-file I use. So you, I use the Manny Pro Passport by Koopa. I actually have a review up of this from two years ago. I'm still using the same one. It is a rechargeable one, it's great. So I'll also show you guys which speed I put it on and everything else in this video. First thing I do when I prep is I use a cuticle tool. So this one we sell on my site. This is a luminary nail systems cuticle tool. I like it because it's got this rounded edge here that's kind of like thick so you can get under and push up of the cuticle area. And then this end has a scraper. It's not sharp or anything. It's nice and gentle. Okay. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start by pushing my skin back gently. I'm gonna turn my finger to the side so you guys can kind of see. I'm not pushing down. I'm not pushing on my nail plate. I'm just using my nail plate to guide my tool to push the skin very gently. You don't need a lot of pressure or anything. Just gently push the skin back. So I'm gonna flip my tool to the scraping part. I'm just gonna gently scrape up the skin under there, very gently. Again, don't put pressure on the nail. You don't need to push down to do that. You're just lightly brushing against to lift up that skin. And you can go down one side and down the other. So you can see this is all skin right here. This needs to go before we apply enhancements or else they just won't stick. They'll lift right there. Um, okay, so let's get into some tools here. The first tool I'm gonna use is this one. This is just a small diamond tool. Okay, so I'm doing my left hand with my right hand. So I'm just gonna turn this up. Mm, about there. You want it to be able to rotate without skipping but you don't need it like this. That's too high. That's too low. Right about there is good. So I'm gonna go around this side. Again, you're placing it at this angle. I'm not going like this. I'm not, I'm not placing it against my nail. I'm just on an angle, gently getting that skin up. I'm not putting a lot of pressure down. I'm not trying to file my natural nail away. I'm just trying to get the skin. I'm putting it on the reverse now because I'm going down the other side. So now I'm on reverse, going around the other side, getting all that skin up, being gentle. And now I've turned that off just to dust away the dust. Okay, so that was just that one tool. That was good, but it's not quite good enough to get a good prep. So the next two tools I have are similar. So I'm just gonna show you both. You can use one or the other kind of thing. So these are teeny tiny little tools here. This one is a flame bit and we sell these on the Nail Throne site. These are great, except they're pointy and sharp, so if you're not careful, you could accidentally poke yourself or your client. But if you're experienced, you should have no problem using these. So this is a good alternative if you're too scared to use that tool. I got this one from Get Buff Nails, Get Buff Pro. I'll link it down below. And it's almost like a flame bit, but without the pointy piece. And I really like this one as well. This would be great for beginners. So I'll use the beginner one, the one I think is a little better for beginners. 
I'm on the same speed I was. And again, I'm going on the left side first, so down the one side. This is just gonna get any extra little bits in the corners that'll grab onto that acrylic and cause it to lift. I'm reversing it now and I'm going around the other side. So I'll do that on the rest of them. Again, you'll see there's skin here. This needs to go, this little chunk. Now this little bit will get that chunk for me and help me get that bit out so that I don't have lifting. And again, you're just gonna wanna be very gentle and careful. Don't push down on the nail. Don't push up into the cuticle area. You're just being very careful and gentle. So I got so much more skin there, which will just help my adhesion. So I'm gonna take a scrub brush. I'm just going to brush off that dust. To remove the shine, I've already got a lot of shine removed because I just removed my set this morning, but my growth area is still shiny. So I'm just gonna use an orange buffing block to gently buff the shine. That's all you really need. You don't need to file it with a hand file or anything. You just wanna remove that shine. So I like to use the little corners to get into the corner of my cuticle area. So now I'm just going to take a hand file. You can use 180 grit would be good or higher. And you're just going to want to shape your free edge for your what you're doing next. So you'd want to shape it for the shape you would want for your gel manicure. You'd want to shape it a little bit nicer and cleaner if you were going to be applying tips or forms. So that's why I'm just going to just shape them up just cause like one side on this is sticking out further than the other side. I just want my uh, free edge to be very even, you know? Now we're at the point where we're going, we're almost finished this prep. So I'm just dusting off again. And then my next favorite tool is this one. There's a few different, I'll actually show you a few different ones you can go for. There is one that looks like this and it is a ball. And then there's this one that is not a ball, it's kind of like a tear, teardrop shape, I guess, kind of. They do the same thing. I like both, but I feel more comfortable using this one. We sell this shape on the Nail Throne site as well, but I'm gonna go with this one. And this is a really, really nice buffing type tool to buff the skin. It just helps move the skin and create that nice, smooth cuticle area that you see a lot of people have when they're doing the nails. And we want it to look nice and smooth and clean. I have it on a little bit of a lower speed than before. Still very similar though. And again, we're gonna go forward and then reverse. So this is just gonna push that skin out of the way. I'm just using it, see? And it helps get any little bits of skin like this piece up and off. So I'm just gonna turn that up a little bit. So now it's back to my regular prep speed. So I guess this one goes at regular prep speed as well. So I'm reversing it. And I'm just gonna go down the other side now. And you can see it really helps move the corner. So now that corner isn't stuck to the nail and in my way, it's moved out of the way. And it gives that kind of smooth, clean cuticle area. So I'm gonna do that on all of these nails. Again, going the one way. And dust. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a lint-free wipe. I'm gonna saturate this wipe in alcohol. I'm gonna wrap it around my finger on my other hand. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to scrub and push the skin again. Try to get under there, get any extra dust, any skin and dust, get it all. I like to wipe off my whole hand all over. 
Make sure there's no dust anywhere. So here's how they look. So they have to be dry. There's no cuticle oil added at this point if you're going to be applying an enhancement after this. So acrylic, gel, gel polish, anything. You need the nails and skin to, well, the skin will look dry because I just used acetone this morning and now alcohol. So this is how they should look. There's no skin in my way. Um, there's no shiny patches on the nail. They're good to go ready for the next step. So if you now wanted to leave them as is, you could apply cuticle oil or like an, um, or clear top coat or something like that and replenish the oils. But we'll replenish the oils at the end of the service. So not yet. I wanted to include a close-up video of the prep and the design I ended up doing to show you guys how nice and clean that area ends up looking using my prep steps here. This video will be up next month. When it comes to learning how to use your e-file and prepping, it's always best to practice on yourself so you can really feel what you're doing, the pressure you're using, and everything. So practice on yourself before you practice on others. And I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did and you think it brought you some value, please share it with someone who you think it could help. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.